Well, after years of construction headaches for drivers and nearly $1 billion spent, we're now in the home stretch of the completion of Project Neon. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Christiane Klein. And I'm Denise Valdez. The construction project is 95% complete, but there's still work to be done. Amidst all the work, one thing is already standing out to drivers it's the appearance of those HOV signs on the I 15. 8 News Now reporter Shaquille Alvaranga is live near Alta and MLK to tell us more about that and the other changes that you can expect. Shaquille yeah. Well, Christiane and Denise, the overall goal of this project is to make your commute to and from work a bit easier. When I first moved here, I think there was only like 40,000 people. So I was here when there was six hotels on the strip and everything else was downtown. Rick Pasco is one of the many people who has witnessed Las Vegas's big boom. And Vegas has turned into a uh, well, I hate to say it, it's sort of like LA now. I mean, it's huge. This is what your commute on I 15 looks like now, but it'll look a lot different next month. These are much needed and long awaited improvements that should greatly improve. Um, uh, the, the transition and, and traffic flow and, and really safety. Right now, there are two express lanes on I-15. In mid-May, one will be converted into a general purpose lane. The other will become a high occupancy vehicle lane, also known as a carpool lane. It's a huge multifaceted project that has been 20 years in the making. So it's, uh, it's more than just rehabilitating uh, pavement or anything like that. Uh, we're adding uh, new ramps, new access points. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite the undertaking. If you cross the double solid line to enter or exit the HOV lanes, that's a $250 fee. And this will be in effect 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 95% complete, but right now it's mad dash towards the finish line and, and uh, a flurry of work. Now, Project Neon, it is set to widen 3.7 miles of I-15 in Las Vegas. It is on track to be completed in July. Reporting live, Shakela Alvarenga, 8 News Now. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Shakela.